Hello, 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 and welcome to Pioneers of Pagonia. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and today we're going to be checking out this brand new game. It's a demo at the moment, and it's available over on Steam as the demo, and it's part of the Next Fest, which is happening right now, giving us the opportunity to explore a whole bunch of brand new games. Now, this game, I've already given it a tiny little bit of a go, and it is so wonderfully sweet. We start off on the Venturer, which is not currently connected to a road, but we are going to be taking our pioneers who have arrived by boat with enough stuff to get the economy going, and we're going to be bringing them onto land. Now, you can see there's tons of people in here. We've got construction people, we've got carriers, we've got diggers, we've got builders and cooks and hunters and sawmill workers, guards, forgers, explorers, all sorts, and we're going to get them set up on this island. So the first thing we need to do is we need to build a road and you can see that there's a bit of a grid system and that's going to dictate later on where we're able to put things down and I'm just going to get some sort of something happening here. It's a bit tricky to get your roads laid out in a way that you don't waste a whole bunch of grid spaces so we'll just try our best. Now I first I didn't really like how janky the grid system worked but I think I've come around to it actually it's um I feel like it's more accurate to maybe real life you know like when you have a weird hill and you can't build in certain spots but there we go I've got our basic road set up so our people will start disembarking once they have something to build and you can see over here our objectives we've got quite a lot of things to build it wants us to build two guard towers and we're gonna put them on the edge of our property we're gonna use the guard towers to both keep our people safe but also to continue exploring, so to push the boundaries. Because you can see, all the way around the outside of our map, we've got these like blue little pedestal things, and now those are the boundaries of our map, but the guards will actually push that back, and they'll make it so we've got a bit more space. So we get two guard towers, and we're gonna need an explorer's hut. I'm gonna stick you, oh, uh, maybe not over here, because you're much larger than I thought you were. How about right there, then? And we need some woodcutting huts, a quarry, a sawmill, and some stone masons. So let's take a look. A woodcutting hut. Now we've got trees right here, so it would make sense if the woodcutting hut is over here. Now you can see there is actually a circle, so at the very edge of my map, they will quite go quite a distance to cut trees. So we don't necessarily have to stick it right in here. We could stick it. Maybe we could stick it back here. They'll go cut trees around. So let's try that this time, actually. And we also need a sawmill. Now it makes sense if the sawmill is near where they're cutting trees. And they might cut trees over here, but they might also cut trees basically anywhere else. So I guess we'll just put it here for now. It's okay. And what else do we need? We need a quarry. So that needs to be near these rocks. But again, it has a very massive circle of where they'll actually go to collect the things, I think. It's a bit tricky just where you can, it feels like it should be able to fit there, but it doesn't. <laughs> uh, we could stick it here. I mean, I, I would like it to be kind of closer to those rocks, but it doesn't seem to want to fit. I mean, you could stick it over here. Oh, that seems a bit strange though. What's the other one look like? The stone, stone mill, stone mason. Stone mason. Here, why don't we put a stone mason next to the sawmill? And then we could just put the quarry. Does it fit there? No, I don't think so. That's a shame. All right, we'll stick it over here. I've, I've made my spaces very wonky. Okay, good. So we've gotten everything that it's asked us to. Oh, it wants us to get actually two stone masons for some reason. And I'm not quite sure why we start off with two stone masons. Maybe we just go through a lot of stone at the beginning. So this is like, you're going to want this later. You might as well build it now. <laughs> Well, we'll stick it over here. We can have this as like a little making row here. And there's tons of other things that we can build. Now, it does. I like how it says you have zero, but you're currently building two, which is really nice. So you can look through here and say, oh, I don't have a forester. If I want them to replant trees, say over here somewhere, then I can put the forester down and then they'll replant trees. Maybe we can do that over here. And then this kind of area could get reforested. And what else do we have? A oh, wait. A stone mill. Oh, it produces cement using limestone. Okay, we don't think we can do that quite yet. Don't know if we need a construction camp right now, but a forager's hut would be quite good. So it will go and collect all of those types of things. I don't see anything in here worth collecting. Or down here. So just over there. So perhaps we need to put a forager's hut in this area as well. Now, as soon as they build this guard tower, can I prioritize this? Normal priority or high priority? Okay. If we get them to build this guard tower, I'm going to be able to push this road back once they've expanded this area. So I think I want to do that before I get too many things put in. But I might put some farms down in over here while we wait. So we can get a vegetable farm or a crop farm. So let's put our vegetable farm in first. Let's put it in here somewhere. The fields for it don't need to actually be touching the road. 
the farmers will just kind of walk over to this. I don't even think they need to be facing the right direction, but let's try to make them semi-neat. And we'll put maybe nine... Oh, can I put nine fields behind here? No, that one's... Is it on too much of a hill? Oh, it just wants to switch me over to over here. So, okay, maybe over... No, no, can't do it there. Well, we'll just build them where we're, we're allowed. Oh, it doesn't... Oh, it's very strange, actually. Okay, what about that? Well, there we go. I would like to fill in those two spaces, but it doesn't want me to. <laughs> Not sure why. Anyways. And, oh, a well would be good. Probably we need water for the crop. So let's put a well next to the farm. Do we actually need for watering plants and baking? Yeah, so we do need that. And a windmill and a bakery. So this is a... Oh, this was a vegetable farm, not a crop farm. The crop farm is where we grow the wheat. So we could put a crop farm somewhere else. And then we'd be able to put wheat near it. There, they've built this. So now we can use this to set our claim focus. And we want them to focus on claim... Oh, can't go in too far into the woods. Set them focusing that way. And we'll see the little workers. They'll come out, the little guards, I think. And they're going to start pushing this boundary back. They may just have to walk off the boat or something. Because there are lots of people around. And they're all coming. Oh, yeah, it's these ones here. They, they can see they're carrying those little statue things that are the barriers. And they're going to come and they're going to be the ones who move this barrier back so that we've got more space. Then we can start building out that way. That seems like a really good farm area over there. So maybe we'll put our second farm over here with a bit of a bakery. Now they're getting things built. I love it. I love the scaffolding. I love like the level of detail. Look at the little guy just hammering away. And the scaffolding is going up. And all these like draped fabrics in there. It's a very cute, very good looking game. And I'm really excited to see what it holds. This could be a regular in our repertoire because I'm actually loving it so much so far. Now what is, oh, this was our wood cutting hut. What can we do with that? Felling all trees. This will fell all trees of any size to minimize walking distance for the woodcutters and remove forest faster. Or we could set a focus point. So where do we want them to work first? So we could... Oh, they can't reach those trees, actually. All right, you come work on those trees first, then. Maybe we need to put another deforester guy. That's right, I'm calling him a deforester guy. If we make another deforester guy over here... Woodcutting hut, that's the one. That's the ticket. I mean, it could be kind of like a temporary building, right? We could just get him to get these trees over here. Yeah, come and get these ones so that we have this space back. We're going to reclaim this space for ourselves. Oh, there we go. What's that one that I just built? The stonemason. So in the stonemason, they're going to be take, making cut stone. Oh, but they also make the border stones. I do like how they can make two different things. So, I mean, this game at the beginning was kind of reminding me of Settlement Survival in a way. But here, they can actually work on making cut stone and border stones they're not just stuck on just making one object which i really really do like firewood we don't have currently turned on i'm not sure do we want to make firewood maybe we don't want to make firewood right now maybe once it gets a bit colder i don't know if there's seasons in this game island click to change displayed items so we've got our population oh there we can see if we've got newborns and comfort meals homes oh we currently don't have any homes that might be worth getting in right some cottages Let's put them down the main street. And we should put it in. Let's do three to start. Oh, and actually, build cottages. Make three. I really like this as well. So it's telling us what we need to be making. And then if you've started making it, it gives you the plus three. And then it tells you how many you currently have. It also wants us to make the construction camp. We could put that in over here. Oh, that's the farm, isn't it? Where are we going to put a construction camp? Oh, how about over here? Over by the guard tower. That seems like a place you'd have a construction camp. Build another quarry. So we could build another quarry. Where are we going to put it? We've got one quarry over here. Could put a quarry over here. There are some stones over on this side. It seems like we'd like to push the barriers out maybe a bit further. We can now already increase this road out. Bring this whoop, down this way somewhere. And perhaps we could put another farm over here. What does it want us to build? A quarry and... Oh, the forager and the hunting lodge. Oh, we haven't built those yet. There's a hunting lodge. Now, it makes sense that the hunting lodge is kind of near this woods, right? So let's stick it close here to the edge of the map. And the forager... Oh, that was the first one. Wait, isn't that my forager? Oh, it's a forester. That's different. <laughs> All right, let's stick in a forager there. And they're going to be able to kind of gather up... What are those? Oh, some wild mushrooms. Yeah, we've also got the deer, so hopefully the hunters can now come out and get going on that. We could put out the other farm here. So the crop farm was the one I was thinking. We stick that out here somewhere. And we put some farm spaces around. Oh, that's awkward. Awkward spaces. Always the awkward space. <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't 
hate it about this game, but it's very awkward to try to get things placed like neatly and to look nicely because it's like, nope, I won't go there. No, no, no. <laughs> this, I think if we just, we could, we could get them here. Set claim. Go that way. Claim over here because I need to be able to put some more farms around there. <laughs> oh, some of our cottages are going in and we've got our first vegetable farm in. So the farmers here are working. What is this? Plant anything. Oh, but we could tell them actually what to plant. Oh, okay. Flax, corn, wheat, pumpkins, or cabbage. Well, we can say anything. I don't really mind what they plant, I don't think. I am not sure how much it impacts me. Look at the amount of people coming off this boat. They were packed like sardines on there. Like, this boat doesn't seem big enough to have many people it was actually housing. They are hard at work, though. They're not lazy, these folks. Right, we should build another well to make sure we have enough water for everyone. Oh! A market fountain. Oh, a market stall seems like a good idea. Where would we put a market stall? How about right beside our farm? Yeah, right beside the farm, right across from the houses. That seems like a nice place. And do we want to put another well? Oh, where's the other? I just saw it. Where'd it go? There he is. Uh, if we want to put another well over here by this farm, maybe? Can we stick it on this side of the road? No. Do you guys mind? Come claim this area just so that I can put a well here. <laughs> uh, perfect. And, oh, they have pushed this back quite a ways. So we might be able to stick in a few more. Yes. Okay, good. That is what I wanted. And you can see our foresters hard at work. They've got some new soft, softwood saplings planted in. Oh, build a tavern and build some tavern tables. Where's the tavern? It must be in the food. There it is. Oh, it's massive. Okay. There we could put it. Yeah, I think that's okay. And tavern tables. Now the tavern tables need to go, I think they need to go on a road. What if I put, I don't think I can build a road where there's trees, can I? Can I build a road back here? No, it's already, well, excuse me. No, it like snakes around the trees. That would be an absolute nightmare of a road, I think. All right. Uh, okay, we're going to need those tables put in though. So we've got to decide, maybe we just put them across the street. Would that be really weird? I mean, honestly, it feels a bit weird. Let's put another cottage in here because I feel like eventually we're going to want that. And then we'll put <laughs> four little tables in across from there. We need another will. Oh, a provisioner as well. Somebody to make provisions for our adv great adventurers. Let's stick them over here. And we need to build another well. A market fountain. Provides drinking water to enjoy with comfort meals. Must be placed near market stalls and a tavern. So if we put this here with maybe a market stall beside it? Where is the market stall? No, wait, that's a market stall, isn't it? Yeah, that's a market stall. So I think those are all together, probably close enough. Yeah, I think those are close enough. They're all in the same radius as each other. That is going to be done. Oh, a guild hall now. So a guild hall trains construction workers and crafts people by equipping them with tools. All right, well, that seems like a straight off the boat sort of thing. You know, get off the boat, get your tools and equipment, get to work. Wait, does the quarry get things other than... Oh, no, it's just stone and limestone. So how do we get copper? Because I just saw that something needed copper. Oh, wait, what was that? A copper hut. Copper mines, miners not mine nearby surface copper deposits. Copper can be processed. Miss these. How do I know if I've got copper deposits? Oh, copper. Oh, that was a mushroom. Do we have any more surface level copper? There's copper over here. More copper over there. Okay. Can you, sir start expanding this way we need to get to the copper start expanding up this hill that would be good oh now look at all the space we have over on this side what could we do with all of that space also how are we going to get over there make a weird road up here and then down best use of space i don't know that is so awkward space but it's okay there we go and how do we get up there we're gonna have to come this way kind of diagonally let's wait until okay hold on let's just go to let's just go to here and then once they've expanded a bit hopefully we can draw some straighter lines i just you know what it's the north american in me i love a bit of grid <laughs> that's that is it the north american in me just loves some grids right are we building that second well no i guess we never did let's put another well over here somewhere yes okay we can fit a well there that seems fine then let's do that so we've got kind of a well on either side and oh, it wants us to build another sawmill and another stonemason and another quarry. That is quite a lot of stuff. But we are getting getting up here. So then we could maybe do a quarry up here, maybe. What are you doing? Why are you not claiming these weird circles? You guys are confused. Very confused. <laughs> That's all right. 
Carry on, I guess. Ooh. Ooh, you guys have made some really good progress down on this side. So maybe we can come oh, oh, over to this mountain. What's that down there? Is that that's iron ore? Okay, there's iron and some copper over here. So maybe we can put a quarry on this side. Stonemason quarry. Yes, that would be all within range. So let's put another quarry there. And a stonemason. They want us to put another one in. Perhaps we could do a wood cutting hut. Wait, where? I don't know. There's not any trees on this side. Did we have two wood cutting huts already? Yes, they want us to build a third. Right, got you. Maybe if we can expand way out that way. Like, where are you guys currently working towards? It's the explorer's hut. That's the wrong place. Where's my guard tower? Can you guys come and try to claim over here? We're going to try to go and deforest those woods. But it will be good if this quarry can dig out these couple of rocks over here. But I think what we need also is these, right? The copper hut. So there's a couple pieces of copper, but not a lot. But if you could do a couple pieces of copper and then maybe an iron one as well, because that's iron right there. And what else do we have? Silver, copper. Oh, and coal. Can we see any coal around? Uh, that's coal there. Okay. So that would be within your range. So would that. So we could stick you up on this hill and that would be getting those coals. So that's at least a good start. Stonemasons were good. Oh, we need to build another sawmill, it says. All right, we were going to try to come out this way, right? And get some of these trees. Yeah, they're pushing over there. We could, I guess we could put some sawmills out this side. A sawmill here, maybe? There, that, that seems okay. I wonder if we need more guard towers. We're sort of pushing out quite a ways. Are we going to need additional guards? And I kind of feel like the answer is yes. I can see, like, it could be quite dangerous, actually. Let's put a guard tower down there. And... Let's get this expanded a little ways and then put another guard tower out this way. Then maybe the two guard towers in the middle, rather than exploring new territories, what they could be doing is protecting us, making sure we don't get killed because I don't want to get killed. <laughs> All right. Now, as far as I can tell, and it could be just me or it could be something that's not quite in the game yet. I'm not really sure. I don't see any way to tick time on. It, it could be wrong, though. Oh, claimed area. 5.1%. 23,000 meters squared. Available room in residences is coming soon. Residence available for tasks, though. We have 104 available residents. Oh my goodness. Craftspeople, tradespeople, military. We've got 20 guards. We have a lot of stuff. Well, we don't have a lot of food, though. Do we even have enough food to, like, keep our people fed? Perhaps another farm wouldn't go amiss. Do we have space out here for another farm? Crop farm or vegetable farm? Oh, wait. It's what it gathers. Are we going to be able to farms on those, like, Hills? I hope so. <laughs> and let's put a well out here for the farm to use. Oh, I can't. Is it too hilly? That, that's too sandy, maybe? Where was that spot? I just said I could do it up, up here. That's uh, iffy. All right, sure. And some farmland will stick in wherever we can. You're just growing your crops on a bit of a hill. It's probably fine. Okay, there we go. We just need to make sure we get people fed. And I wonder if we're going to need more houses. Not really... Not really sure but yeah wouldn't it be nice to live oceanside i mean i think i would like that so you can live over there and here have another house there maybe you can have you can have a neighbor or two or three that, that seems like a lot of houses i don't know if we need that many houses i don't know if we're gonna need another tavern are we gonna need more more of everything smelting oh wait oh we definitely are gonna need a smelting works though right because we're getting all that iron we're gonna need a place to deal with it that's good, because that goes next to the copper hut and the iron hut. Oh yeah, that's looking very good. Oh, build wood workshop. Oh, did we ever put the... No, we never put these in. We don't have wooden cogwheels anyways. I don't even get wooden cogwheels. Ah, here's a wood workshop. You don't fit there. Where do you fit? Do you fit here? No. Where do you fit? You're very large. Here? Some of the spacings are a bit funny, so nothing fits anywhere nicely. Wood workshop, here. No. Oh, you fit over here. I mean, that's not near anything with to do with the wood. People are going to be transporting things all over the place. That is fine, I guess. <laughs> right, the sawmills are coming along. The wood cutting husks are coming along. The wells, yep. Tavern tables, good. Guild hall, good. I think we've kind of got everything going there that we want to have going. Now, I am loving this game, and it is... Uh, the demo is available for free right now on Steam. 
you can add it to your wish list. The actual full game comes out, I think, in the beginning of December, so not that far away from now. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what this game holds. And I may even play it again before the final release. I just think it's the cutest game. It's 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 kind of exactly what I love. It's just, I mean, I don't even know. I don't know. I've got guard tower, so I'm assuming if something bad could happen eventually. And also, like, there are, what was it? Weaponsmiths and armor smith so i'm assuming eventually at some point something bad could happen to us making you know some bronze and iron lances and all sorts of things but for now this has been a very cozy time and i've enjoyed it immensely and if you don't want to miss any more make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to leave a like because it does actually help so much thank you very much and i hope you have a great day take care Bye bye